welcome to my channel creative art i am nilima and today we're going to do 3d decoupage art as you know decoupage art can be used on any type of material to decorate it and convert it into a beautiful decorative piece but 3d decoupage is a really something special that intensifies the effect of a simple decoupage because in 3d decoupage we have to place papers layer on layer after embossing and that really gives a beautiful uplifted look and if you use this kind of a beautiful flowering decoupages that makes them absolutely look natural and so beautiful that you definitely have to give it a try i bought this simple packet from craft treat and it costed me just rupees 75 so friends do watch the complete video to make it yourself and do subscribe my channel friends for more creative art painting videos and do press the bell icon to get notification for each video I post every week. All the materials needed to make this beautiful 3D decoupage wall decor are mentioned in the description box below with their links from where you can also buy them. So let's quickly check out all the materials now friends. To make a 3D decoupage art, first of all you need is 3D decoupage sheet which are from Craft Treat. All the decoupage sheets were so beautiful that I have to buy more than one and this was my best three picks. To cut the 3D decoupage exactly to the design, I'm going to use a sharp scissor like this one. This is a craft scissor. If you're comfortable with a cutting knife, you can also use a sharp knife like this one. This is also a craft knife. Other than that, for embossing the paper, I'm going to use embossing tools which are called as ball tools. Make sure that you're buying a big size of ball tool so that engraving would be easier and a two side foam tape to place the decoupage embossed sheets right on place. It looks like this. One side will be free and the other side will have a yellow paper covering. So it is a two side tape which has a foam base and a foam pad which looks like this. If you don't have a foam pad you can also buy two or three glitter sheets like this ones which has a foam base on the back side just simply turn it out and you can do the embossing step on this kind of foam sheets in this video we will be making 3d decoupage art of this beautiful beautiful three roses i'm very excited to open the pack so let's quickly check out what is inside it in this pack you get three beautiful rose printed sheets the quality of these sheets are really good and they are thick enough to do the 3D decoupage art. This is sheet 1 which is a complete print of the design we are going to make. This is sheet 2 and sheet 3 and it also comes with an instruction manual which is printed on the back side of the pack. I'll tell you all the steps in short. The first step is to cut the designs on sheet 2 and sheet 3. Our second step is to do embossing using the embossing tools and the foam pad. Our third step is to place two side foam tape on sheet 1. And then our fourth step is to place the embossed design right exactly on the design of the same flower or the same print. And our fifth step is to repeat the same steps to place the sheet 3 cut out embossed pieces on top of sheet 2 design pieces. So let's start the video now friends. Now let's begin by our first step which is to cut the sheet 2 and sheet 3 designs exactly to the size. For that I'm going to use a scissor. If you're comfortable with a knife you can also use a craft knife like this one. First of all I'll just roughly cut out the excess and then let's start cutting the design exactly. So now friends in the same way I will be cutting the complete design of the sheet and then I will also be cutting the complete designs on the sheet 3 and then show you all the pieces. Now I have finally completed cutting out all the pieces of sheet 2 and sheet 3. 
and arrange them in this way make sure friends after cutting all the pieces you arrange them properly so you do not miss any single piece now let's move to our next step which is embossing for which you're going to need ball tools like this ones and a foam pad like this one so now i'm going to take one by one piece turn it out in the other side and just using a medium size ball tool i'll be gently pressing the paper from center to outwards okay start from the center and press it in the outwards direction like this make sure that you're using a foam pad so that your design piece or the design paper does not get any kind of damage from the other side you have to do this very gently as we are doing it on paper as soon as you complete doing this step on the complete paper you will observe that you have got a curve if you get any kind of wrinkles on the sides simply smoothen out the edges using the smaller size of ball tool so now you can clearly see it has a curve turn it out to see the final result and this is how uplifted it looks as compared to a plain sheet so the same step i'm going to repeat on all the pieces just using a ball tool start pressing from center to the outwards direction of the design paper and finally this is how it looks so now friends in the same way i'll do embossing of all these pieces as well as the big piece itself the process is the same just start pressing from the center to the outward directions of each flower okay for this big piece you have to do this same process for each of the flower in this way well completed so now in the same way friends i'm going to do embossing on all the cut pieces now i have completed embossing of all the pieces and this is how they look they have got quite a curve on the smaller pieces as well as on the big piece so now friends let's move on to our next step which is to place the sheet 2 cutout piece on the sheet 1 for that we're going to use a two side foam tape which looks like this it is a two side tape which has a foam base and that is one of the reason which lifts up and support the second pieces so what i'm going to do is i'm simply going to place the bigger piece exactly in the center in this way i'm going to place two pieces in the center of each rose and then on all the edges i'm going to place this kind of thin small pieces Now after placing all the pieces of tape right where you want it, gently remove the yellow extra piece which is covering the other side of the sticky part of the tape in this way. And then gently place the cutout piece from the second sheet. Make sure you're placing everything line to line. Now this is how our first layer looks. You can clearly observe that none of the white tape is visible but we have absolutely got a lift up flower look which is very well defined. So now we are going to place our second layer. So pick up the most biggest pieces like this ones. Take accurate measurement where you want to place it and just according to it start placing the tape. If you're not comfortable or you get confused placing tape on the right place, you can also place it on the back side of your cut piece where the tape won't be visible. And you can place it easily exactly on the place. So I'm going to do the same, placing all my small pieces and the long pieces on the tape. Then I'm thinking to place two layers in the center. So remove this. And the second right here take an accurate measurement it's good it fits so now remove all the yellow covers 
and finally place them exactly where you want I think it just perfectly fits you can clearly see how perfect that was you cannot see any edging from any side and even the tape is not visible from any of the sides so in the same way I'm going to place this piece and this piece Now we have completed placing the second layer of all the pieces. Now let's start placing the third layer which would be this one right here, this one right here, this one is the final piece for this layer and this tiny piece right here. Now placing the third layer and now in the same way I'll be placing rest of the small pieces for this part then placing this part so this is how it looks one two and three the third layer one two and see this is how i have placed the tiny pieces of two side tape on the back side now remove the yellow coating and gently place the pieces exactly where it should be in this way and finally, in the same way, I have placed the last final fourth piece of this flower. So the two flowers here have three layers, but the middle flower has four layers. One, two, three and four, which looks so beautiful. So now let's quickly frame it. Now after placing all the layers of the cutout decoupage embossed pieces and placing it on the first sheet, this is how beautiful our 3D decoupage art looks. You can clearly see how beautifully the design is uplifted just by placing this tiny pieces of paper and I just love how natural it looks. The design itself is so beautiful. So now friends, let's quickly frame it. For frame, I have selected a wooden brown color frame. You can also select black or any color you like. And this is a ready-made frame which you directly get to buy. It comes with a white paper placed right inside it. I have removed the glass just to show you. I'm using an A3 size wooden frame so that we can place our decoupage right exactly in the center which will actually increase the complete dimension of this beautiful decoupage art as well as the design will be very clearly visible. So decide the center exactly. This is the exact center. Now I'm going to use two side tape to place our decoupage art to the frame. Remove all the four sides. Turn it out. Decide exactly the center. Press it to pieces. Stretch it down and right here. So this is placed exactly in the center. Let's place it. Now this is how beautiful our 3D decoupage art looks when it is finally completed and we have framed it. By framing any art, you can increase the look as well as the size of the art piece. And this is one of the best ways to display any 3D art. And I have to say friends, this is the easiest way to do a 3D art. And it looks so beautiful as if the flowers are popping out of the design just because of that 3D look. Even the print is so natural looking with all the beautiful shades. I absolutely love it. You can pair this beautiful 3D decoupage wall decor with our previous art piece which was this. Each one of them look very beautiful when combined and placed together on wall. Friends, if you did like this video, try watching more similar videos. The link will be given in the description box below. And friends, do tell me in the comments below, how did you like this video? And if you do like my videos, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.